Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another very exciting episode here at Glancet Games and today I proudly present to you Sleeping Dogs. I am in a way better mood than in the last episode because, you know, the infamous Red Wedding. I would say the first good deed of the day is helping out a stranger woman who was asking for fashion advice. And I think we should meet her at the bridge here, so... Hey mister, you got a moment? Yes, I have two for you. Yeah, sure, what's going on? Do you think this shirt is too tight? Lord have mercy. Um, honest opinion? <laughs> that would want <gasps> you to be a pervert. Wow! I cannot even hit you? What the fuck? And what's the deal with pushing people over ledges? Can you explain that to me? Is this like a cultural habit here in Hong Kong? You bitches! Do you think you can rob me with cheap tricks? And I think you need some flying lessons. I mean, you said you were always wanted to be a pilot. Oh, does that mean by leveling up our face experience, we got a passive ability? That is cool. Yeah, and since we are in a good mood, I would say let's continue with some police work. I will come back later, I promise. Hotshot's trying to kill me! He's crazy! He's... Shit! Trace Ace phone. Okay, I had to switch vehicles there for a second, but I will find you Ace. I just need to follow the radar. Get to the center. I'm just standing. There we have it. Success. All right, get to Ace's girlfriend before she dies. Oh, shit. All right, hang on tight. I'm coming with my scooter. Yeah, this might not be the best vehicle for a rescue mission, but I make the best with what I have, right? Oh, and she's bleeding out so fast. Come on, come on, come on, way. Huh? Wait, what, 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 did you see that on the map? Sudden change in direction? That game wants me to fail. No, 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 no. 100 meters, 100 meters. There we are. Woo! Last second. Okay, investigate the crash. I to help him, nah. but he's not breathing. There's blood everywhere. <laughs> oh, where did you come from? Sudden Dragon Ball Z teleportation? Hotcha killed Ace. I'll challenge him to a race, and once we're in it, I'll lead him right to you. I want him alive. Meet me at Victoria Peak. Bring a fast car. Yeah, what we are sitting on is definitely not a fast car. So let's head to the garage, get a faster vehicle, and then we can challenge this guy. All right. Let's race, baby! Sucker! Whoa! He's not even waiting for the countdown, you bitch! Not an honorable driver that I'm competing against. Don't disable Hotshot's car until you hit the roadblock. And now it starts to rain. Damn it. The worst conditions for me. Do you see what's happening here? How is he able to perform these kind of things full speed? He's maneuvering through every corner at top speed. Okay, now I can disable his car. That is what I do best. Holy shit! Manslaughter! Okay, escape the cop. Oh, I have to escape the cops, never mind. Holy shit, I thought I was part of the investigation. Innocent hurt! Did you see what he did? My man got to yeet it into air and I got the penalty for a slight bump. You should have seen the look on his face when we charged him with murder. Case complete. Let's go. Oh. That is a new scenario. Ah, I get it. So these are the different types of enemies that I can like specifically train towards too. Nope, not with me. I'm the master in countering attacks. Knife fight in the dojo, let's go. Of course, this is all training scenario. I'm not really killing people. Or am I? All right, so that was a very intense training. All my muscles have been put to work here. Ah, damn it. But I think I overworked one of my muscles. If there was just something that I can do against that. Ah, yes, my medicine. I tell all my customers they're amazing. But this time, I mean it. Aww, I'm blushing, guys. I'm blushing. All right, so the tension is gone. I feel cool, calm, collected. And I think we can continue with a very intense mission right now that is going to drain us emotionally. And this mission is Mrs. Chu's revenge. But I got to look at one of the gunmen from the wedding. Now, I will find him. And I'll make him tell me who's responsible. You find him. You him here. Oh, Mrs. Cho means business. You got Johnny Ratface's number? Johnny Ratface? Man, stay away from that lunatic. You give him a job, you're gonna have to steam clean your conscience when he's done. Oh, that I is a good you know wording. Done. Steam clean your consciousness when you're done. All right, Johnny the Ratface, you cannot hide anymore, you fucker. Got you, fucker. Oh, oh, wait, thank you. Yeah, great minds think alike. No hideout, no trap house is safe from me. Are you insane? Think of all the money we'll make. Oh, I know why this guy is called Redface. No body shame, of course. And here I am, boy. There you go. Boom. Oh, yes. I'm thunder. I'm lightning. I think we make a little porn. Flippity sunny wall. 
one line with a video camera and we make five six thousand you are planning with bro how to shoot a porn nope not with me not today I'm not in a good mood and I think you can feel that. Oh my god, how many people are there? Ah, oh, controller, please. And I got it. Oh my god, what a performance. Did you see that flip? Whee! Not even going to bother with you guys. Get out of the goddamn car. It's mine now. There we have it. And now hijack the other car. This is where Johnny is sitting in. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> what a jump, dude! Wait, you hold me responsible for the property damage? I didn't do anything. Not going to tell you nothing. You don't have to. Someone else will ask the question. But fuck him too. Yeah, it's not a him. It is not a him, my dude. Yeah, your red face is going to turn into a ragu, my man. Johnny the rat face. Meet Mrs. Chu. Winston's mother. Wait. This is going to be a gnarly interrogation. And I think it is time to reward ourselves because we have to get out of these bloody clothes. So let's find a boutique or something, get a new fresh outfit. All right, and there we are. This is our final outfit. I mean, that looks quite stylish, doesn't it? Luckily, this is breathable material and also water and rainproof. And by the way, there is something that I totally forgot. It is a very important side quest. When Jackie Ma told us that there are like security transporters that we have to hijack, we haven't done this yet. And there's one. Speak of the devil. All right, and let's go. Mine now. I think the cops only noticed us because we ran over a guy. Oh, damn it. I don't want to deal with you now. And we lost them. Bring the stolen truck to the drop off. 10,000. Pole position, baby. Pole position. All right, be careful. I do not want to do the pole walker here. And we made it with a wheelie. $25,000! Guys, in this episode, we are making banks. I absolutely misclicked. I don't really know why this is happening so much, but yeah, maybe I'm just getting older. I'm turning 29 this year, so out of Gen Z perspective, I'm basically dead. Yeah, the open jacket is a nice touch here, but maybe... Really? Cold water cannot fix this? You really gave me this outfit for a mission? Guys, I know this is quite macabre, but do we want to take this for the next mission? Yeah, don't mind me, guys. I'm just drenched in blood. Nothing to see here. All right, but now on to our next mission. Meet the new boss. And who the fuck are you? I'm here for Mr. Lee. He's another son on ye boss. Red Pole, just like Winston. For the time being, you may continue your operations in this area. But the percentage previously paid to Winston will now go to Mr. Lee. That's an interesting proposition. You tell Mr. Lee that his people stay the fuck out of our territory and in return, we'll let him live. You'll regret this. Back off! I'll kill him! Yeah, I'll shut up. Back. Boom! Oh my god, what a headshot. Luckily, I already came in a bloody suit. Oh, in his kneecap. Boom! There are even more people? Not for long, pal. Woo! Oh my god, they are riddling the pedestrians with bullets. Yeah, you can stay in the car, man. No time for backup. Oh my god! Did you see what we did there? Holy shit! Catch ponytail. Oh, they're coming from the back. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that is epic, dude. And another one. Take off. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is so fun. My car is taking too much damage. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. There are like 2,000 people behind me. Oh, my God. So much action. And he is dual wielding. Ponytail has the akimbo loadout. Come on. Come on. You don't have to tell me. Come on. I'm all giving my best. And through the living room. Ooh. Excuse me. Ooh. Sorry about the beer. I hope you die. And your family too. Wow! <laughs> All right, just you and me. I'm gonna break your face. And another one. Oh, but he is fast. No! Ah, oh, damn it! Woo! Tell your boss, stay the fuck out of my territory. Fuck you, eh? And now we are surrounded by the police. Escape the cops. Get in! Get in! Okay. What the hell? I'm here. Who are you? Miss Yang is a red pole. She just saved your life. Oh, a new character enters the scene. Broken Nose Jang. I want to take the Sun Yi forward. We both appear to have the same problem, Wei Shen. 
and the opportunity to benefit if we work together. I have my own reasons for hating Big Smiley's operation. Now, if you stand against him, you can count on me. A shed button up shirt, casual elegance, with a touch of give me your money or you're dead, thrown in for flavor. That sounds like the perfect description. We're happy to serve you. Oh, but now I'm missing my trousers. <laughs> oh, that is not good. My ancestors look down upon you with appreciation, sir. Your ancestors are looking down on that in appreciation? I mean, you sound British, so I shouldn't be surprised at all. But do you know what? I think just for the meme, I will attend one mission in this outfit. Hey man, how's it going? I just finished another race. I'd have one, but Big Nose Chang cheated. Will you teach him not to pull that shit on your turf? Yeah, sure. That is his car? That is the race car that you almost lost against? A fucking smart? Ah, what a stress relief. Yes. In my underwear. I'm going to destroy you in my freaking retro shorts. Oh shit. Now they're coming with quick time events? That's not fair. And we did it. Favor complete, $500 in our pocket. Easy money. All right, but now we have a complete outfit. We even got a new watch and everything. I would say this is casual chic. And then the Gen Z would call it bussin' for real, no cap. My man dripping in heat. Yeah, but in my opinion, I only need clothes that get the job done. And for the next mission, I definitely need something that I can move in and also look good. And the mission that I'm heading towards to is loose ends. Need some health regen? The best way is caffeine and taurine nice and we also got increased damage yeah this is what i expect for 30 dollars wait you won't believe what those assholes did brought them another load of watches they were supposed to give me 200 000 for them instead they give me this hunk of shit i don't even know how to ride this thing i had to push it here <laughs> you have a lot of money i mean you can just pursue your driver's license am i right deliver the motorcycle to top glamour imports all right so a little career mission guys i know i've said it the 10th time or so but we need sleeping dogs too there is no way that there's not a sleeping dogs too in production i mean development team square enix whoever is in charge right now if you need somebody who comes up with good ideas for a potential successor just hit me up my friend Jackie tells me you owe him some money. I know you're a cop. And I know you're a snitch. You want to see who your boys kill first? Fuck you. Kill him! Catch the armored van. All right. Wait a second. Did he shoot himself? Oh. That's it, asshole. <laughs> Come on, fuckers! <laughs> and we did it. Into the trunk with you. Bye. All right, get rid of the 18K. Oh, my car is almost down. No, oh, damn it. But we made it. We got rid of them without shooting a single bullet. Oh my God, our car looks like shit. Oh. I have one of your informants in the trunk of my car. What? Yeah, and he needs to disappear right now. Bring him over. Let me out of here. <coughs> I fucking shit myself. Yeah, that is a you problem. Hey, show the lady some respect. Bitch! And another mission done and dusted and got $60,000. Ooh -wee. But I really like it how we are managing to level both sides equally. We are pretty far in our skill tree when it comes to police work, but we also made a lot of progress uh, on the triad side. Hey, can you help me, mister? Yeah, I might be able to do so. Let's see. You see, my car's having a problem and you look like you might be able to fix it. What do you mean I look like it? Just because I'm a man? Do you embrace stereotypes? Yeah, but let me have a look. My dad wasn't... Oh, what? What the fuck? All right. And I almost got run over. Have you seen my face level? You won't get away without consequences. Okay, I even swim. Do you see? I'm Michael Phelpsing you. Shut the fuck up, man. Oh, yes, my new attack. Did you see that? Boom. Okay, I shouldn't be such a loud mouth. I'm almost dead. And you're going for a swim. <laughs> nice. And $1,500 in our pocket. Easy as that. All right, but the last days were really action-packed. What we have experienced today, fights, explode. 
Hey, did you just wreck my car in the middle of my outro? A few minutes later. I don't know what exactly happened there. I mean, he slipped probably. But I would say we make a cut for this episode because we have been through a lot. Sleeping Dogs is such a wild triad cocktail, but I cannot get enough from that. And I hope you're here for the next episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you like this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and also ring the bell to never miss out on future content here at Glancet Games. And as always, stay safe, play fair and keep gaming. This is Glancet Games. Over and out.